Ah, Fiora, get you. Okay. Could be fun, I guess. Um, what should I play here? Stun could be useful, but um, don't think I should keep it. Play Zillion and the two drop and the three drop. Why not? I guess I'll just play you. I can attack, there's no way he blocks anyway, let's be honest. Oh, he actually blocks, wow. Pass you? Pokey stay, okay. Um, not a 1. Um, I think I'll just play Zillion here, right? Should be safe. He's not gonna attack with a 2 1 to a 1 4 anyway. Yes, time let's go, sure. Haven't I been here before? I'll pass. I'll attack because there's no way he blocks. Yep. Am I play Brawling here? Brawling. Yep. I'll play this. It might play the 4 plus 4 4 that creates the. I'll give every formidable unit plus 1 health though, so we'll see. This pings, pings. Um, probably just pass. Okay, this is good though, a win condition. Fiora. This is Stung the strongest, right? Yeah, so that's good. So Stung Fiora here, let's go. So the Naya freaking hopes you win second. You can pull, but that's still fine. Um, Troll Chan, okay. So I poke this deck here, right? So I preserve the Zillion here? Yeah, because this goes to 3 health now. That's fine by me. And go Pass of Revenant here to try to fall some minimum of his grade as well. To deal with Fiora, basically. Ancient Prep. And. Nothing to do actually. I don't drop the bomb could be useful to ping ping. But I'm guessing he he's freaking spell yard and the Marcia that's always about spell. Let's be real. Probably pick the draw card. And it is another landmark by the way, so it helps the A drop to get more keywords. Another drop the bomb. Oh you gotta be kidding me. Wow, I can't even play them now. I guess I play you then. Um sure. Awesome. This is annoying. Like really annoying. I was really just want to slap him in the face, but that's fine, right? It's fine. He does have this unit. Crap. I could deal with him with these two, but if I minimum, there's so many good units actually minimum. I could minimum of this guy. I mean, it is kind of stupid though minimum mini thing a tree tree, but the freaking thing is so stupid annoying. I also could just minimum this guy. This is really good as well because look, up, that's like two units already. That's already profit. Let's be real. From all minimum Fiora. I think I mean more you man, you're too much stats to give to everyone. You also get plus one at other formidable at health to yourself, right? So basically you're 5-5. Five five. I ain't dealing with that crap yet. Strike quickly, strike go. Mm, okay, pulls Zillion, sure. He pulls the 2-2 I'm getting. Oh, tricky. Make no sense though, why? I guess I block you always, so I can poke uh pingy with pokey stick. Why would he ever use bombing to pull the 2-2 though? That makes no sense to be honest. But I guess he wanted the, this guy to live. I guess that makes sense. But probably still dies though. This is good, destroys this guy and summons the two units basically. I'll ping this first of all though. Because he might play Gadio that gives everyone 4 health, then he will deal with a freaking 8-8. I'll just do this. And it's the lot again, sure. Oh, he had another one! Oh my god! Sure, sure, sure. I could technically play these two. I think I will. So I say if this does uh, destroy you so I can stun something, right? Would be technically be better. And this itself is also not a damage, by the way. And play you in a shadow in the bush. Maybe he's... Oh, if I wanted to go for that, I should play you first of all, right? Because technically it would stop like a chain, uh, like a rally card. This is in Eternals, right? So that's basically every card is possible now. I remember Earth is fine. Sure. Give everything vulnerable. Oh, that's good. He actually had it. He just wanted to play this then Galio, huh? He wanted to troll me? Sure. Destroy you, destroy you. And I thought there was something good to see. So I can stun the Fiora. I don't want Fiora keeping this I'll yet. Drag you out of there if I have to. So give the 5 5, why not? It's free. Doesn't attack. So I guess he wants to get it with his level here. Magic comes in, might comes out. Okay, sure. So Gary will get ready every time I damage a unit. This has 5. It could have six, okay. It could have been more if I play drop the bomb, but I can't because this guy. So let's see, like, the key was please. 
a lot of mediocre ones would like to have other ones for sure i guess oh my god come on stop it Pass. i guess now this can attack because this has 10 attack now but i'm worried that he might have like a form up or chosen to give get you more attack then this would just make a good train uh, this would just die right even though he does have quick attack i'll pass here i'm not quick. i'm not gonna try to attack okay so now i can attack right there's no i mean elixir of iron really bro pass what if he actually has elixir of iron man? Oh my, I can't, I need, I do not need you guys right Let now. He's gonna pull like a 2-4. Oh Who's that? Sure. Could I play this so I can actually deny the champion strength, man? Imagine if I didn't. Hmm, sure. I can just skip here. It is gonna give him the ready though. I have no I think I'll just ping this. So Fiora goes to 2 health, so he can't actually pull anything good. He, he can't pull this even. Let me guess like form up or Trochan. Maybe if it's Trochan then he actually wants to pop the 10 7 as well. He doesn't go for down. it though. Okay. Still killing it. Hmm. I guess he has 3 system maybe. Or harsh wins. I'm presuming. Um Do I? Um Sure, why not? That's fine by me. Why is he passing though? Let's be real. There's no good reason for him to even pass. Seeing a combat, like, for real, that's the play. Um, sure, I'll resolve. This will be cool. always gonna attack right at the And I drop the bomb. It's actually kinda blocking my space though. Let's be real. No, that did a special bit matter. Okay. Resolve. I can just play you. Why not? The 2 1. I don't get the landmark, but that's fine. He's still not attacking, what is he? Okay, he does have Trojan technically, but he could top that into it. I guess I predict first and then go under a oh, second draw. Maybe like a time bomb. Um which one is actually good? Time bomb is good because it technically allows me to draw, which I think I desperately really need at this point. It also a landmark that destroys by the way next turn, so this will give him a him a random keyword, like a life will be great. Do this, get time bomb. I gotta replace you because you summon the unit. That that one thing want to end me next. Year, so I don't mind that. But well, Hopper is fine, I guess. Should I replace you since he's most likely gonna open attack next turn? Um, sure, I guess just to play around. Like I at least have a blocker. Could be worse actually. Pass here. So he's gonna get a tech token and then I will just ping everything for one. So he will just pop the ghetto to give him red. What is just red, right? PSM is kind of mediocre. Zillion, like sure. Don't have another champion strength please though, like, come on, you can't just top deck champion strength, right? That's fine, this is fine, that's fine. So, what's the best block here? You block you always, um, you block you always, and you block you always, and this should be fine. He gets ready, I have a few more other units that can block, and I should just pass here. I am taking 4 damage, but there's no way this 4 damage is somehow just lethal to Hmm, he's popping spell shield. It's kinda concerning actually. Execution. But he's still not killing him, by the way. He's still here chilling. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh no, he gives it two health over. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I guess I'll just play it here. Come on, something good would be nice here. Time bomb, okay, sure. I need time bombs so I can cycle my deck anyway. So I guess I go for it. Oh my god. I cannot deal with constant threat at this point. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, he doesn't have a type. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Because I popped the the, the freaking get you thing already. I forgot about that. If I place you, this pings one everything, then the Zeraf No, this would prevent skill and spell, so Zeraf would actually still ping you for three actually. Um What I wanna attack? I mean you could just block it for something and then get attack token and then attack with Kana. I don't think that's worth it. I just play Zeraf here. So let's see, maybe like a top deck time bomb be great, a top deck you be great. I only drew into one of you, right? I haven't played multiple copies, I only play one, so there's still two more in my deck, just chilling. Right, yeah, I only play one of you. And you will potentially give another keyword, like potentially uh, lifesteal would be great, let me survive, I guess. Regenerate will be also be great. 
I'll just pass here. I'm not attacking, so I won't be able to give him the attack. So now the Galio abilities pop again because of the time bomb. I'll ping you as well. Because this will need a nice spell for skills. That is not really a skill, I guess. Not a time bomb is good, I guess. Oh wait, no, not necessarily. You could actually potentially give him. Oh, that's Tio Rod. Come on. I need to play it though. This does give Rally next to another time bomb. Okay, sure. So, he's always gonna pull this guy anyway. Oh, um, sure. I guess that makes sense because I have multiple time bombs in hand. Hopefully, he doesn't pull something good. Don't pull another Galio, please. Oh my god, I'm so done. Ah, block, block. You should watch this. Um, you block you, I guess. No, I get, maybe he somehow passed the gap and I could dead. Hmm, sure. Probably the safer play. And then time bomb here. Galio is gonna give it ready though. But I gotta go for it, right? Maybe this Tybo is like to lose it and I just put it like that. That could work, actually. He does have 14 attack and this will pop the augment, so he would have 15 attack, which is greater, by the way. Oh, not time bomb. Okay, so it's very possible that this Tybo can lose it, by the way. If you want everything. Um, Overwhelm. Overwhelm is good, but he has like big healthy units, so Overwhelm is not good enough. So another time bomb here. Okay, and the Stavale is not good here, but sure. So I ping around, come on. Challenger, oh wait. Is Challenger good? Challenger is actually not that bad. Yeah, actually, I actually might be able to win again. So I play you as a blocker. So this could... One. Okay, I actually could win. If he has Frostbite though, then I lose. He needs a high low spell shield, I guess. If that's it. Um. Wait, then ping the 3. I guess I need to Q this. Then this would not 3 help. Yeah, I guess I gotta Q that. Yep. So, okay. If he has Frostbite, I lose. But if this high low spell shield, I could win. So, we gotta hope for the best. I can pass, okay. So, come on, spell shoot, spell shoot, spell shoot, spell shoot, spell shoot, spell shoot. Life steal, come on. <laughs> Why am I only getting the keywords now when I'm like so dead? Okay, attack like this. I could attack with this, but he could have harsh wins potentially. So, I'm guessing I'm playing around this because then he trades this and then he attacks. So, this could technically play around this. This is Leader. Exactly, actually. Maybe he has a, like a buff spell. I mean, if this is not lethal, this is still a pretty good attack itself, right? Because, I mean, maybe he has Trochan, but this is still like a juicy attack. Because this is still healing of Arcana, healing my Nexus, and at least it's still doing something, right? I gotta go for it. Even if it's, he has something that increases the health, this should be the correct play because, I mean, the it's a 16 damage life steal. I'm good at going for it. This really depends on what the hell these two cards are. And he, he go bye bye, let's go. He didn't have a frost spike card, didn't have a buff scale, and that's just GG. I actually won there. Fight Jack. This could be insanely hard, not gonna lie, if he somehow has timelines, so we'll just see. Also, whether or not he high rolls some good units, actually. I think I'll keep this NSF for you. Like, the 3 cost 3 3 into the 4 cost 2 4 is insanely good combo. Because it basically summons 3 3 units if I get to destroy a Lama. Or something for a 1 drop, but that's fine. Could be worth, let's be honest. Just down, sure. Got more Jack. scars than years. Um, Got I guess I'll just play this here. Yeah. He's playing Jack, but he could not he could maybe not have timelines, I guess. Maybe. That'd be good news. That's a one drop. I guess since I have so much landmark that we need to get destroyed like unless the unless the bow and stung landmark, I guess I'll pick pick Let right now about my style. Nah, sure. Right now block. I'll save Zidian the block in three turns, there's no need to block now anyway. And I'll just play you. I got attack. Maybe he plays a weapon master and that block this guy. And then I can use Rider of Game to destroy the landmark to ping Jack for 4 damage. There's no protection spells in this region anyway. Timeline, so he actually had timelines there. Hmm. I guess he really wanted to just play Jack on turn 2. Um sure. I'm gonna judge. I guess I'll just attack. He's not gonna block the and then I'll just pass here. Oh, he also has the one drop off to play and get rid of the timelines now. So he's just gonna generate like a generic one cost 2 2 maybe. And then he's gonna get like a 3 2 with elusive. That is kind of bad though for him actually because that unit recalls itself, so it won't actually do the thing you wanted to do because then it bounces back the equipment. But it is elusive, so it, I guess it does push 3 3 damage if you want to think about it that way. I guess I just block. 
If Zillion dies here, that's fine by me anyway. Actually, tries to kill Zillion. That's 3 damage. Okay, I love to see it actually. I technically prevent the 3 damage to the face. That's nice. Pretty sad up here. That sort of actually makes sense though. Because I don't have any landmarks in the board anyway. I guess I should just play this to predict. Maybe time bomb. Nope. Probably just skip. I don't need more landmarks on that up anyway since I already have Lama. Fine, I guess I play you. I guess I pass and next time I attack with these two and then play Zeta up here. And then just ping something for one I guess. Another Zeta? Sure. I already have one run again, I don't need that much. I guess he's gonna ping this. Surprisingly he blocks though, I thought he would not but that's fine by me. Combat code, okay. Hopefully he doesn't get a pretty good tree drop. Uh, be, not a tree drop, pretty good 4 drop, that'd be fine. Glad there's a chef on the team get now. What's for dinner? A 5 6 oh, I, uh, that transforms and regen, by the way. Oops. That's cool. I guess I just play that up here. I do have Rider of Arcane, so it should be fine because I can just use tree on the block that and then go Rider of Arcane to just play that. He is gonna level Jack over this one for him. Oh, <laughs> Zeta ping that for one, like that matters. Wow, triple Enos devout, okay. Sure. The more the merrier, as they always say. Elusive as well. I guess he's gonna get onto it, I guess, if he wants to. Doesn't really make sense if he goes for that, though. Because he then he just passed my priority, I can just go you to stun the 5 6. He might actually play like another comic if he Let wants to. He doesn't. Okay, so he level Jack. For Acacia! And you know what? Also for me! This is a lot of damage, though, I won't lie. So I guess I just use you to block a lot. Commit here. Zed up 1 and 4. I just need Lamax to die anyway, right? So I can start leveling Zed up anyway. Fucking more damage as well. Sure, sure. <laughs> so I need to destroy you. I can't let you live. Because if you live, then he heals back all the damage and he transforms and draw a unit as well. That's just too much for me. Zed up, you ping um, Jacket to a 1 damage, I guess, which is cool. I'm gonna fight here as well, sure. <coughs> Pulls down the tree. That's cute. I'm gonna guess he's gonna play a webmaster here again. Did I see you so using plays my lamp to stir the pot last night? Oh, he got Sorry. another one of the units. The Duh. Of course, he gets another one of the units. Of course, he gets another one. Transform draws a card. Plus two, plus two as well. I'm pretty sure the transform unit is um has the base stat. Oh my god! Come on, this is so dumb. Um, probably play this then. If I destroy, oh no, wait. Even if I destroy this, it doesn't really make sense because that up, you just ping this for one. That's it. Yeah, but it's actually plus two plus two. It's a six nine now. Wow, that's great. Rock hopper. I guess I should just attack like this. Maybe force him to block. He actually blocks. Wow. I could ping that for four now, but Zera only pings another unit for how much? Um, one because he's not yet flipped yet. Hmm. Can you stop man? Like, relax. If he gets the Overwhelm one and then he gives it to like, buy as well, that's just one big unit I need to deal with now. Can this man stop? Hey, it's not that dude. Scout, that's even- oh my god, come on. Let me quit the- okay, sure. That's fun. To deal with. That's fun. Actually, you probably shouldn't attack that. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay, one. Um, this will snipe. Because now I'm thinking that maybe I actually should have removed, should not attack. So, because removing this doesn't actually help me survive, right? I shouldn't remove Jack with the right arcane, but since I already attacked and this is for health, I should do this because there's probably not a better opportunity to kill this unit other than now because he has regen. So, Zerap will ping this for one. And Zerap will ping There's 4 more cards 1, 2, 3, 4 Fine, okay Does it, Hopefully it doesn't open the tag, that'd be great I can just develop the stung landmark or stung there Oh wait, I won't even stung the jack because this is technically the strongest Attack with the scout right there, you do it No, oh my god, actually Um, I guess I stung that I gotta stung something Because he's gonna equip the equipment onto that And then jack would actually get more plus 1 plus 1 stats Don't like that Elusive as well, sure. Hopefully he doesn't equip, he just attacks, come on. Don't, don't equip. 
I'm gonna destroy the landmark. Think of that, right? If I destroy the landmark, I will just stun the fire tree as well. So don't equip. No, I can't do this. I guess I gotta go for it. Sure. No bot space, but it is what it is. I need to stun more units. Oh, also I kill off the tree of unit. That's cool as well. Because of Zera. That's nice. So I um, stun you and I kill you. Then I guess I play best with Ravinji. He's always gonna type Jack. Jack's gonna get. Oh, for each. Oh my god, it doesn't even matter, does it? Because he gets plus one plus one for each. Even it, if it's at the back line, it still gets plus one plus one. That's so dumb, to be honest. I thought he needs the attack with him. That's why I wanted it stung, but sure. It is still technically denying damage, which is the important part. Um, sure. I guess that makes sense because of more damage. This is so much damage, but come on. I guess I gotta block that. Preservarium, draw me something good, like a time bomb would be. I guess the A cost would be great. I <laughs> did not want time bomb. The A cost unit that gives random kills. I did just play like a bunch of landmarks. Okay, it's actually woke up now. I think. I mean, maybe. Hmm. This landmark makes no sense. I probably want it. So you have to be here, right? So pop the landmark and ping something. I guess. I guess I replace you. you want a big boom? Elusive and lifesteal. Okay, it's workable. I guess I regen a bunch, sure. Hey, Captain, how's the ship holding so let's see what so other OP unit he picked. Five for sure. Dolt. You've only had one more mana, so I can play Time Bomb. Hmm. Uh, this will ping the weakest, right? The weakest is technically this guy, will ping Adolf. I can't attack with the other unit, make no sense. Because Jack is still here. I guess I committed this. It is technically 10 life steal, so it's not that bad, but I'm gonna guess he's gonna full board attack with next turn and then put, use Vi to, uh, use Vi to pull the life steal unit, then he gets the full board damage close to I am going to 15 though. If it got done like Changer and Quick Attack, it'd be way better. Yeah, Vi is gonna flip here. It also has Quick Attack, which is just so dumb. Now I need to deal with a uh, Changer and Quick Attack unit. At least Zed are equipping the Fire Tree, which is not that bad. I am kind of worried that what the hell he has on the Fire Cards in his hand though. Could this be other weapon master? Could be burn spells. That's actually not that bad. I could deny burn spells. Okay. Dash. Um sure. Because each landmark destroyed also gives him random keywords, so that's a bash now, which is cool. What? Make no sense. He should pull the light. What? He's not even attacking with Jack. This has life steal, bro. I I'ma not judge. I'ma not judge. That's how we do it. What is he thinking? Is this your no, you played this multiple times already. What are you doing? I guess I do this before he burns me, I guess. He should most likely just use Vi to pull this guy and then just attack with everything. Even though Zeraf is annoying to clear off his units, but it's not much of a threat than an elusive unit, by the way, which is not clearing. With Spell Shoe, by the way, which is still not clearing. Does he have like two fish fights? I mean, sure, if he does have it. I guess he's gonna like Mystic Shot the Spell Shoe and then fish fight. I do have the guy with this, this by the way. Again, sure. I could stop that, but I think I'd rather stop a fish fight, do I? Um, does stopping this make sense? Most likely not. Resolve. I do have another one by the way, so if this Tyro's life steal as well, it could help me win the game. I'll pass it. I'll wait for him to use his fish fight, just to win. Discarded a scout equipment and a one cost unit. Okay. So, sure. Again, he's not striking him down, so this is gonna be lethal next time he fights his open attack. Hey, because fish fight is slow speed, there's no other spell that could be spawned this other than you just fish fight needs to use it now. Do it. I know you have it. You have 3 cards. Doesn't have it. GG. Why didn't he put, use Vi to pull the elusive unit? He could've just won like that. I don't know. Really, he could've just used Vi to pull that and that would just be game, but sure. Vi check. Okay. Again, this could be just horrible if he has timelines, just like last time. So we'll see. Um, one two three seems fine. Drop the bomb is amazing because it does deal with Jack, so that's great always. A one drop is always nice since it gives me the bomb, the landmark, and that helps set up level, which is you know necessary if I even want to win this game. I guess it's also draw, which is also pretty good. That's, that's an eight drop. Okay, that's my win condition, so I can control it and win with this basically. I can attack. Come in. Doesn't do anything. So let's see. Is he gonna play Jack or Timelines here? Stung is also pretty good to stun like a big buy, I guess. When he equips him with the overwhelming equipment. He's gonna play Timelines here. Yep. 
Okay. So now I need to deal with his shenanigans for now. I'll play this. Another one? Okay, sure. So, oh, Rival right, Arcane is always nice. So I guess I play this. He could somehow Hyro, like he plays a 3 boss, yep, and then Hyro something like with more health, but if it does, then it is what it is. I do miss out on 2 damage though, which is kind of problematic, but we'll see. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. Yep, so it's most like, okay, boss. 4-8, four, a uh, 4-6 four, I guess, sure. Could be way worse, let's be honest, so yeah, at least it's not that big for now. I can easily just use 2 on the block and then go right if I can kill that off, so that's something. Another right okay, sure. Angel Prep, okay, probably the better one because I want the at least pretty. Hey Jackie, I dare you. Plum, come back up, okay. I could actually stun something big for now. Let's see what he gets into first of all. So quick attack and that, okay. So I definitely stun here. Is that at 4 health? Right if I can cookie that off. He's gonna attack, that's fine. So I'm gonna use this to block this right here. And I'm just gonna ancient prep. I could go for this, there's no need to poke that out just yet. I think poke stick, because now I can poke stick that and can just use the one to block that. Should be fine. So, poke stick. Helps me second my deck as well, which is pretty important. Let's see if I get more draw, like as variant, deviant here. Another angel prep, eh, could be better, but at least that's something. Oh, he runs this card as well, okay, okay. Most people don't run this card, but I guess he's that interesting guy that somehow thinks this is a good card. It's not a good card, but it's a, a win more card, I guess you could say. It could really just screw your opponent off, if it, because there's like so many 5 cost cards that you know where you're going to connect. Wow, a 2-6, um, sure. There's no way you can actually predict the 5 cost card that he actually predicted, which is the bad part about this. Another pokey stick. At this point, maybe. Sure. Why not? It's a spell. Ping something for one. It's pretty good for itself. I'ma guess I'ma just go you to do this to this and come with you. So I'm gonna get a free five three out, and I can just block the, this unit with the uh, two one anyway. He's always gonna give me a two two as well. Next turn, I can also go right up Akin to the stung lemma to stung something big if he plays by, I guess. But we'll see. And I still have dropped the bomb to do with uh, Jack here. Oh wait, crap. Oh my god, now that's a 5-7 bro. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Sure. At least I have, still have a 2 to the block that, so it could be worse. Let's be real. I'm okay, that's why. My way. Um, I don't have anything to do with her just yet. No. I could do this, like... Then drop the bomb her. I gotta do something, sure. I guess I just stung this. I could stung Y, but I need to deal with her as soon as possible before he just gets like 10 attacks and levels and then every time she bonks my face, she gets mm, her deal 5 damage in the next. Which is you know, not normally good. I block, block, I'm right here. So I guess I'll just ping Nexus for 1, draw a card. It's 5 7, it's ironically kinda stupid, denying me a lot of things. 7 health as well. Gotta be hitting me another ancient prep. Sure, let's go. Let's wear him, I guess. None of the cards are actually helpful. I do already have a drop the bomb, so I should put spin that. This is a lot of landmarks that I am playing, so it does buff him up really well. He has 5 new keywords already, which is good news. 6. Minimov, okay, that's a game winning card potentially. But the problem with this matchup is the fact that even if I minimov something big, the big unit, the minimov or the mini tin is gonna have the keyword of the equipment, right? So even if I minimov this unit, the mini tin is gonna have uh, a 6 4 with quick attack, by the way, because it still keeps the equipment. So, yeah, that's not normally good. But we'll see. Maybe I can meme off Jack, it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, yeah, sure. The fact that he's playing this shows me that he maybe doesn't have any other weapon masters to dress on, because this is a 1 cost, by the way. It's not the best unit to dress on. Oh, and he. Uh, what the f? I said the not, the not the best unit to dress on, and he high really loses. Duh! Pause, pause. It's that simple. I don't think there's like a lot of one drops that actually has to use it. He actually looks like a big hero there, I'm pretty sure. But that's fine, right? That's fun. This game is fun. Oh, we had another Y. Sure. I'm gonna mini move that, right? If I can, I, could I guess I should play Stung, but we'll see where I top that into. 
Okay, pass. He's gonna pull something, which is annoying. He's gonna, he might pull the 2-2 two -two and I force him to fight to the fight, you know. I, oh wait, I don't have another 2 Okay, we should be fine. I'm pretty sure there's nothing he has in fast speed or slow speed other than the potential uh, burn spell, and that's it, really. Okay, that's great, huh? That's great. Good for you, good for you. Good for you, huh? Good for you. I guess I resolve here. I need the mini team that, and then I play you to stun. No, if I mini team that, yeah, I think I need a mini team that. I read a mini mock you because I am actually like getting value, and then play you to stun this, and then he could still attack. Hopefully, he doesn't have Jack here. Please don't have Jack here. Come on, don't do me dirty. Don't have Jack here. I do not want to do with a level Jack. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated, my dude. So I blocked you and commit here. Jack is flipped though, but he didn't have Jack, so that's a good swap. Okay. Do I play you? I think I play you. I won't have mana to play you as a Sharon next turn, so I need to play this this turn and I play uh, you. So maybe if I don't Hydro Elusive, I mean, not Elusive, but he's gonna ping this then, huh? That's a bit sad. You're gonna use like um, Blowback? What the hell is this? Oh my god, that's. That's 8, 6 damage to face, that's fun. I guess he wants to be mana efficient, that's why he's doing it now, which makes sense. Because I haven't really been destroying this guy, so these these people are still here having the equipment by the way. So, I mean, he shows me that he already used like 6 damage to face, so this... Okay, so this is really good. Quick attack, challenger, lifesteal, amazing. Premium, absolutely premium heroes. Lifesteal is good, quick attack is good, challenger is good, overwhelm is... Actually, no, overwhelm is fine, impact is fine. Spell shield, augment, and tough as well. So I actually hide all the keywords. So let's go. It's winnable. That's probably the worst one. Why did you pick that? I have no idea why, but I'm gonna that. I'm snipe that off, and I'm gonna freaking do 10, um, 7 damage to face and heal for 10. You're done. You're done, mate. This dude is hide all the hell out of you. It has spell shield, challenger, quick attack, overwhelm, life steal, and that's just GG. There's no way you can win here. There's no way, absolutely. Oh, life steal as well. <laughs> Even more reason than you lose here. Augment the clock link. Like I care. I don't give a crap, man. Burn me, I just play this now. Do it. I don't care, man. Just do it. Transform into like a tree tree. Transform whatever you want, I don't care. I do not care. I'm gonna do this to just destroy this so I can just stun you while on the fun use. I could play another one of you, but there's no reason to. This just wins the game itself. What are you gonna do? That's a blowback. I don't care, bro. Sure. You're running out of options, my good sir. I got a free fight fight. I stung you. You're done. This is fearsome, bro. You are done. I'm gonna ping you for fun. I could ping Nexus, but why? Why? Why not? Why? Ping you. Play you. Ten different keywords, bro. You're so done. I don't need you, but sure. I can pass you. Play you. There's no way you win here. Oh my god, the third one, let's go. <laughs> sure, play the top day one. Let's go. <laughs> Basically almost has the same keyword as Seppi doesn't have the O one, but sure. He still has elusive, so he is still done. There's no way you win here. Yep, GG. Goodbye. Good day, sir. Loki kinda hide all the life, so I won't actually die the burn. But I still have the unit to deny all skills and spells anyway, so that's just GG.